Oh, and then I wanted to do a like, quick little follow-up actually on these Balenciaga steroid boots that I was completely and still am infatuated and obsessed by whenever I saw them debut on the runway at Balenciaga show. But then mainly when I saw Kanye wear them, IRL in this iconic street pit street style picture that went semi-viral on my side of the internet and as you can see from this picture he's wearing that um if i'm pretty sure it's a balenciaga bomber jacket also that he absolutely beat into the ground which i love that was a good little area of kanye wearing the same outfits every single day i think he's still doing it now i'm not too sure but essentially him wearing a black bomber jacket with some black jeans and these really crazy oversized exaggerated almost cartoon-esque boots that look a bit similar to some of the stuff that he's been wearing in terms of those sort of like firefighter boot type things that i've even been flipping you know um uh, drawn to kind of buying my own versions of them which i haven't really worn too tough here and there because they are really really big i've got a pair of i think they're like js firefighter boots and they're huge you really start to really imagine how this guy's traversing around town wearing these every single day and i think for the regular regular folk out there like myself it probably isn't the greatest thing to wear but i love the boots primarily i've always loved them balenciaga boots because i think in general Demno and maybe whoever he works with in terms of footwear from his times at Vetma, I feel like has always done a really good army style boot. Um, maybe it's because of his kind of you know where he's from in terms of Central Europe, in terms of Georgia, with the wars and whatnot going on there. Whether it's because of maybe growing up and going to places like Berlin, or maybe been shopping around Paris, I'm not really too sure. But he has a real good understanding of what makes a really good army boot, and I specifically mean like that kind of. Um, trooper type lace up that doesn't look too crazy doesn't have too many bells and whistles but just has the right shape the right amount of thickness in the sole the square is not overly pointed and pretty square the, the height of them is always really great because you take these steroid boots and you shrink them down these steroid boots you shrink them down to like a regular size shoe and they're not this inflamed cartoon like um you know behemoth they'll still look pretty sick that's why i think it makes for a really good boot so when i saw them initially i was kind of all over them and clearly i'm not the only one because if you go into the balenciaga web store they've absolutely sold out i'm here now on the site i've got it up on my screen and it says they're available for £999, which is something that I didn't know. I didn't think that'd be that much. I think the Crocs um, kind of waterproof boot things that they did were, if I'm not mistaken, around 600 or 700 So I assumed they'd be around the same price. But for whatever reason, maybe because Balenciaga are making this in-house, because maybe this, that's kind of what they did with the with the Triple S's. They made the Triple S's. I think initially I had a pair of Triple S's the first ones that came out that were made in italy even though they kind of ended up dying over but they were made in italy and it was made in italy ones were a bit more expensive than the ones that they eventually started making out of china when they obviously started becoming a bit more popular and to pump out um as many quantities as possible and styles and whatnot so maybe this is the case with the steroid boot maybe over time once they get the production down pat or once the demand becomes really crazy then maybe they might switch production and it might get a bit cheaper i'm not too sure but for now then 995 pounds the steroid boot from the description here it says uh, it's a black full eva and if you're familiar with sneakers you'll know most of your midsoles are made out of eva this is in several looks of the supreme sorry balenciaga my bad um spring 2023 collection actually talking about that what if you've been going on with demna is that supreme collaboration on holding or has that been cancelled hmm let's see but anyway continue so there it is and you can see if you go down the a list of the sizes it's all notify me so clearly they're all completely sold out um, i think last time i checked it said out of stock but maybe they changed the verbiage to say notify me which is a good little way to get people to kind of sign up but essentially what they are is that they look like um they look like a boot that's kind of a regular boot that's basically been inflamed but if you look closer they're essentially just like a rubber um wellington in a shape that kind of make to look like a really big army boot and i think all of it all of it is basically kind of one piece if i'm not mistaken if, if, maybe i'm not mistaken this is here in the description boo round toe 20 millimeter arch exaggerated volume lightweight material bench like a logo on tongue 12 eyelets molded show and upper made in italy wipe with soft cloth so to me they look absolutely incredible i'm a really big fan of them and i feel they look really cool and really neat but clearly as you can see here oh is that a bit of lining in there okay maybe i'm mistaken no i think it's for eva 
I think it's full EVA if you can see there. I think it's full EVA, but the lining makes it look like they've got some lining in them. But yeah, they look incredible to me there. But unfortunately with these boots, it seems like in real life they don't actually look the greatest on most people. Or they might end up people might end up struggling styling them in real life. That'll be the main issue. And I feel like a lot of the looks here I've got a couple here. I've kind of gone for the all black type of look with the boots and kind of sticking some sweatpants in them. The next look on the next slide has a guy wearing, I'm pretty sure, skinnier jeans in terms of following what Kanye did on his pair. And then I think there's a picture here also that features um, K. Trinada's wearing them, but he's sitting down, so it's kind of hard to kind of judge how that looks on him. But even his stuffing, I don't really like. He's trying to stuff those into his shoes. Too tough for me, personally. But these are going to be very interesting to see how people make them work in real life. Because I guess because of the shaft, right? Is that what it's called? The shaft, um, the top bit of the shoe and the opening where you put your, your, your foot in. It's quite wide. Most people's pants probably won't fit the outside of that. Unless you wear, you know, super big Korean brand, you know, pants and stuff. Um, people are going to find it really hard to have shoe trousers that go over them so you're going to have to wear trousers that sort of like you stick into the boot but I guess in this respect what would you rather stick them in so they're like how Keishin Arda's wearing them where they kind of look like they've been stuffed in there or kind of have this relaxed kind of sitting on top of it look that Kanye's got going on here which I think maybe is more sort of a consequence of him just walking as opposed to um, it kind of being a style thing maybe I'm not too sure but as you can see even there the stereo boot see it sort of just looks like an exaggerated version of this sergeant boot that they had before so I think it's again I feel like they make really they're really under they're going to get a hype that they deserve or the adulation they deserve to kind of um, making really good army boots in black but it looks like in real life they haven't necessarily been able to hit the same way that they did online with people and I'm curious to see as more people end up getting a pair if we end up seeing a few more questionable fits because i think we all i think we end up seeing a lot more people who end up i think it'd be like the triple s's remember when the triple s's were on the runway they looked incredible and then you suddenly saw, saw people wearing them on real life and they end up looking super super crap so maybe this might end up happening with these steroid boots but regardless of how what they do i don't care because i'm going to end up getting a pair myself i feel like these are absolutely incredible and clearly they probably won't be worn as many times as i think they're going to be worn but if i had to choose between these or the crocs I definitely go for these. I prefer having a kind of exaggerated crazy boot thing than having that weird crook, you know, fire high thing going on. I feel like those are a bit lame, but I'll definitely end up getting these. I do like going for because even with these, you could these if easily remove the laces and just wear them as is, and they still look pretty hard because I don't think that tongue flaps down personally. Maybe I'm getting crazy here, but I think that tongue is kind of a bit of a place, not also a placeholder, but. It's not exactly a thing. What is, what is it doing? Where's it? Yeah, go off. Get off here. Yeah. So I think that tongue isn't actually a tongue. I think it's just like molded in a way to make it look like it's a tongue that you can kind of move around. But I don't think that's the case. I think it's just like a, you know, not a placeholder, but it's just like a thing that sort of, because I think the mold goes around it all in here maybe a little bit slit here but i don't think it moves around too tough i don't think your foot's gonna jiggle around so you can definitely get away with just you know removing the laces and just having it rock like that but i do like them i do like them they look really cool i'm a big fan obviously got the balenciaga branding here on the bottom made in italy there's no stamp of the size underneath the shoe which is a shame i always like that they have a little 44 45 at the bottom there but that's pretty cool still regardless and also you got the added advantage if you're walk walking somewhere um you know in the cold especially there's snow there's mud wherever you can leave these little balenciaga imprints on the on the ground you're walking which is pretty tough and i'm a big fan of that either but this look and this look book is pretty cool right this model i know he's wearing them but i like this look that he's got with this you know with the balenciaga adidas collaboration jacket the jeans and uh what's well, got the jeans stuffed into the top of the balenciaga boots there but i like them i like the look at them definitely gonna end up getting a pair when I do get around to getting them and you know making them work but again from what I've seen so far on the interwebs people are struggling super hard to make them work and um yeah I think they're gonna throw up a lot of interesting styling challenges for some people out there so let's see how they roll let's see how they roll